All right, so we're going to work on non-dimensionalization. So kind of our uh, example we're going to use through this is the budworm model. And so here we go. This has uh, several parameters, and one of our jobs here is going to be to reduce the number of parameters by getting rid of the... Um, units. All right. Okay, so here we go. So here we are. So the first job really is to identify what the units are on each variable or parameter. So n here is really the number of budworms. <coughs> and you can see that this term here, this n over k, uh, very nice. It'd be nice if these guys have the same units, because then, as in the logistic model, usually this term in the product has no units. So k here is going to have the same number, uh, same kind of units as n. So k is also going to be the number of budworms. If that's true, then this term has no units. This is the number of budworms, and you can see that uh, the units on the derivative, this is budworms per time. And so this for forces R to have the units 1 over time. That might be 1 over years or 1 over days or whatever the time units are. Okay, so we got that. So we have N, K, and R. We also need to get B and A. This is a little bit trickier over here in this term. And so the idea is to um, figure out what the units might be. So you've got budworm squared, budworm squared. You know, what do you have left here, the possibility for the units on A? Well, if you're, when you're adding these things, they're going to have to have the same units. So these are going to have to both be end up with units so that you have budworm squared plus budworm squared. So A is, has the number of budworms as its units. This leaves, well this is kind of interesting because now you have budworm squared divided by budworm squared. So this term here has no units in the end, which means that B, well, this term has units budworms per time. And you're subtracting, and so this term also must be budworms per time. And yet this fraction has no units. So B must have units budworms per time. Okay, so this is going to be critical. Uh, and we got to keep these ideas in mind. Now, when we go on, one of the key things we've got to figure out here is, um, okay, so for the next step, we need to decide where we want to end up having parameters and where we don't. And so for let's come to the agreement that we want all our dimensionless parameters that we end up in the, in the end still having to be in the logistic term. So let's, let's write... Um, so that all dimensionless parameters in the end are in the logistic term. So in other words, all we're going to end up with parameters over in this logistic term. Should have no parameters over here after we're done getting rid of all of our units. Now, one of the challenges here is that there's no single best way to set things up here. You can you could actually do this so that we have what we want with all parameters in logistic, or you can do this so that all our parameters end up over here. Which one's the best depends on the analysis you do later. Uh, both are correct. 
So we're just going to go with this partly because this is what our textbook does and we're going to see that come up later as we get into chapter 2 and partly because the analysis in the end is a little bit easier this way. So um, some of it is trial and error and you just have to take a shot at it. So we got to figure out what to do here. So I want to define an n hat that will have no units and um, this is a little bit tricky choice here and it's really all going to be based on looking at this term and guiding us because we want to get rid of that. So a rid, rid of A and B over there eventually. So we're going to choose n hat so that we have n either multiplied or divided by something to get rid of the units. So n is in the number of budworms. So the only other uh, parameter here in this term and Oops. And this term that ha is also just the number of budworms is A. So that's what we're going to go with here. So we're going to have N divided by A. And then we're going to work from this and see where we go. And uh, then we'll see that we're still left with some time units we have to get rid of. And so then that'll be our next job is getting rid of time units. Okay, so now we're going to start by doing... D n hat d t. Well, this is one over a d n d t, and of course that d n d t we already know. So we have one over a times b. Whoops, sorry, that should be r. Times r n minus n over k and then minus b n squared over a squared plus n squared okay well this uh, simplifies some so you get your r over a times n then you have more of your logistic term here and now we're going to have b over a, which is fine, but we need to work on simplifying this term and doing something with these n squared. So I can replace these, recall over here, that n hat we define to be n over a. So if I want to replace n, I can just solve because n will be a times n hat. And this will show you that we have a n hat quantity squared over, and then our, our a squared plus a n hat quantity squared. And now you can see that you have an a squared divided by a squared plus a squared there. So the a squareds are going to divide out of that term. So we've actually made some good progress here, r over a times n times 1 minus n over k minus, oops, sorry, minus b over a, and then we have n hat squared over 1 plus n hat squared. So now we need to look at the units here and see where we are. All right, so we're looking at the units here. And so, first of all, R has units 1 over time, and A has units number of budworms, and N has units number of budworms. So the number of budworms cancel out, and this whole term is just 1 over time. That's all the units you have here. Similarly, uh, no units here in this fraction now. B is budworms per unit time divided by A, which is budworms, and so the units here are just 1 over time. So now we just have to get rid of these time units, and we're going to do this by defining a T hat. And so we need to make a choice here on a way to get rid of, of uh, time, and the way we're going to do that, since we're, again, we're trying to get rid of this B over A, we don't want anything here. 
So the way we're going to do this is take this to be B over A times T. And notice that this is 1 over time. This is time, so the time units now will cancel out. So that's how we're going to take care of uh, get rid of, getting rid of time. So now we want to go look at the derivative d in hat dt hat. So we're going to have to work this, and the chain rule will be involved this time as we work on uh, getting rid of the last of the units here. Okay, so let's give it a try. All right, so here we are. And so before we work with uh, the derivative we're going to work with, we need to also try to get rid of all the n's in favor of n hat. So here is an n hat. And then to get rid of this n, we're going to replace this with a times n hat. Okay, so what we'll have then is r times n hat times 1 minus, and now we've got a over k n hat minus b over a n hat squared over 1 plus n hat squared. And now we can turn to working on the derivative d n hat dt hat. So that's our next step. All right, so now we want to compute d n hat dt hat. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to have to uh, work with what we know, which is d n hat dt. But, and now we're going to use the chain rule to handle um, getting us over to the dt hat. So we then have d n hat dt times dt dt hat. Okay, so the first guy here, this one we know from what we were just working on. So that is going to be r n hat times 1 minus a over k n hat minus b over a n hat squared over 1 plus n hat squared. And now we just need to know what dt dt hat is. And we can do this by going back and solving for t. So we said that t hat is b over a t. And so what I really need to do is solve for t so I can take the derivative easily here. So t in terms of uh, t hat. And so we have a over b t hat. And so this tells us pretty quickly that the derivative of t with respect to t hat is a over b. Okay, so distributing, we're going to clean things up quickly here. So we have a r over b times n hat times 1 minus a over k n hat minus. And now you can see that uh, our cleverness has done it. We will get rid of the b over a and have no parameters over there. So we'll just have the n hat squared over 1 plus n hat squared. And so we've done what we wanted to do. And so there are no units in this term. There will now be no units in this term. And you can check the units on those. And then we're going to have two parameter groupings that we're going to work with this guy. And this guy. So we can redefine those with new names. We'll let r, little r, be a times r over b. And we can let lowercase k be, let's say, uh, k over a. So then we'll have a lowercase, we'll have a lowercase k down here in the denominator and it'll look like a, um, a logistic just like usual. So, um, in the so in the end, what we end up with is this format, which has no units and just two parameters. This will make our analysis of equilibrium points and stability much simpler.